Uh, I haven't seen you lot in a while. I heard about your exploits, though. Zatz told me all about it. He and his mates stop by for a drink when they're around. Stop by later, okay? I'll give you a special treat. I can't give you any liquor, but you can help yourself to anything else on the menu. Are you sure that's very generous of you? Make yourselves at home. I've taken a shine to you all. I'll have the braised shanks and spicy seafood steak. Fluffy cheese omelet, please. Oh, and a palatial parfait deluxe. Sautéed wild pheasant and... The slow-cooked country-style stew. Um, sweet herb and nut porridge, and some jam-slathered toast. Sure thing. Hang on a second. Uh, what was that? We've been having that a lot lately. Grandship might be finally coming apart. Yikes. Oh. That was a big shake. How long ago was Grandship built? They say it's been three or four thousand years. Basically a long time ago. Wow. It's that old? All right. It's all ready. Help yourself to seconds, of course. Here you go. Let's eat. That was a feast and a half. Is that all you're having on, yes? You eat like a sparrow. I live by modest means at the temple, and I still get full very easily. Say, proprietress, do you have any plans tonight? Shall we take a stroll on the deck and listen to the waves? <laughs> What's this guy on about? There we go again. That sound gives me the shivers. We're all used to it here. The whole town floats on the sea, after all. It's nothing out of the ordinary for it to creak and sway a bit. I'm stuffed. I couldn't eat another bite. You ate too much, Tiz. I can't believe you put all that away. Do men always eat such volume? Well, I guess so. I haven't pigged out that much in a while, though. I see. Quite an appetite. Oh, good of you to stop by. Hi there. Greetings. Ah, the Wind Vestal. Rare to see you both here together. The usual death? No, I'm good today. I'm glad we ran into you guys here. Huh? You'd best flee the ship soon. Flee? Shy girls. This place is sinking, and it's going down quick. They're in a panic up on deck.
What is happening? Say, didn't Ringabel's journal say something about an engine room? Maybe this is it here? <clears throat> but it won't open. I'll check the journal again. Hmm. Nothing's changed. There must be a clue around here somewhere. Let's all look. Hmm. What's this? Found something? What language is it written in? I can't read a word. Same here. It's all gibberish to me. Can you read it, Agnes? Wait! This is the ancient language of the Crystal Adventists. I can only make out a few words. Oh, wow! I'm impressed! Engine room door... Heart of the ship... Requires... Orichalcum... Ship will rise... Engine room door... It must mean this door. Oh, I remembered something! Huh? Eggo! That orichalcum he picked up! Oh, welcome back. <laughs> You're looking well. I believe I have you to thank for that. I'm very grateful. Egil goes to the training hall at the castle every day about this time. He should return soon. I'm back! Oh, it's you guys! I have a favor to ask you, Egil. Can you let me have that orichalcum you found? I know it's a lot to ask. We would really appreciate it, Egil. Oh, please. No need to ask so politely. Of course you can have it. Are you sure? I get eggs for dinner every day here anyway. I can train and go to school as well. All because you rescued me from the sword bearers and brought me here. You needed to help someone out, right? In that case, it's yours. Thank you, Eagle.
it open. Are none of you worried that we're following instructions in Ringabel's journal and that old manuscript without knowing what we're doing? We have to act, whether we like it or not. What will happen to that poor proprietress if we can't keep the ship afloat? Yeah, you're right. What's our next move? The heart of the ship could be somewhere deep inside the engine room. We have to place the orichalcum in there, I guess. Hold on. We don't know what will happen when we do that. Shouldn't we have everyone evacuate the ship first? You're right. It doesn't look like this door has been opened in a while. Anything could happen. There are 298 lifeboats in storage hold 89. It was written on the first page of the council record. So the council members use those boats to escape. Good grief. It can't be helped. Let's split up and lead the townspeople to safety. Heard that loud and clear. We'll take care of the townspeople, don't worry. Wow. So this is what the inside of the council hall looks like. You all head on into the engine room. never seen an elevator like that. How far down did it take us? My ears are popping like crazy. This must have existed since the time that old manuscript was written, but it still looks in working condition. You know, I have a really bad feeling about this.